What is up, pal fam, and welcome to day 26 of Countdown to Free the 100. My name is Paul Emanuel Abaradas, aka Paul Pal. 75 days to go, and Fide, the International Chess Federation, turns 100. This time, we're in the year 1949, closing out the decade 40s, as well as the Fides' 25th year. Yes, that's right. Sil the silver anniversary of Fide in 1949. So, yeah, that should be the intro for today. Anyway, we'll find out a game between the former world champion and and huh there's and the oldest living world champion Boris Spassky yes that's right he's the world chess champion from 1969 to 1972 and but however he lost the world championship after getting defeated by Bobby Fischer so yeah Boris Spassky the world's oldest world chess champion the world's oldest chess champion something like that is playing sergey sergey Avtonomov. yeah there's no picture of him again so that so that should be it and however boris is we finally found the first ever collar picture in the entirety of our videos not including thumbnails okay Let's begin. Boris starts with d4. And Avtonomov goes d5, as usual. Spassky offers the Queen's Gambit, and Sergei goes to accept it. And goes on with knight f3, knight f6, e3, c5, bishop takes e6, castles, a6, queen e2, knight c6, knight c3, b5. Bishop e3 and c6 d4. Things are a bit interesting here because it's where about the position goes on. But the better one is bishop e7, d takes c5, bishop e4. And there. Sorry. <laughs> My voice is just like always. I don't know what to mean, but yeah. By the way, this is just a 21 move game. 21 move match but what are we doing so what if he goes on here and then probably takes takes and I think he has to go here and then bishop and all this stuff okay let's move on with c takes d4 and then rook to d1 because his threat it takes and take this but apparently, in the 1952 game, there's e takes d4 in Julio versus Larry, and then probably like takes, um, probably takes, and then queen. What else? Bishop. So yeah. Okay, with the let's go back to rook d1 and Sergey made a mistake with bishop b7 tough but yeah if it's knight a5 knight takes d4, d4 queen c7 e4 knight takes a takes bishop b7 bishop g5 and b4 the position is equal and then it would continue with bishop i uh, no no knight a4 rather um What should be a good move for white or for black? I think it's good to take this. And yeah. Okay, let's go back to bishop to b7. And then there goes e takes d4. And knight to b4. Miss taken again. It recommends with knight a5. There's the thing. Trying to go for this in the doubled pawn for white. Because with d5, knight takes, 
instead of going like this, it goes to this and then and then knight takes a1, rook takes rook takes and knight takes b5. That's a tough one, but despite losing a rook, he has a slight advantage. Boris Vasky has a slight advantage. So it's black's turn and then probably queen and bishop. And I gotta go king there, king f8. And by, by the by, rook here. Okay, the mistake of knight b4 of Sergei Avtonomov continues with continues the game with d5, making Boris making making Spassky's game better. After knight b takes d5, bishop g5, bishop e7. Bishop takes, G takes, and then Knight takes D5, and Sergei again made a mistake again, but Bishop takes D5. Yeah, I knew it, but what about E takes? Because it's somewhat safe to cap, probably, as in my opinion, I'm gonna, it's probably somewhat safe to go with this pawn instead of a piece. So, yeah. If it's e takes d5 and then rook d4, queen c7, queen e3, rook d8, rook c1, queen d6, rook e1, and rook d7, it things will be a bit fine for for white, and I can probably go rook d3, but what it could be. Let's go back to bishop takes d5 and if it's bishop takes d5 no it isn't if it's what if it's knight h4 and queen d6 bishop rook to d8 queen h5 queen e5 bishop c6 king f8 and queen h6 white is now winning but what what i was confused why not to take this um knight probably there's no choice I think Queen and then probably just like go here okay when Bishop takes d5 there goes e takes d5 and white is better and then move on with Knight d4 and King f8 terrible mistake for Sergey tons of it but not tons too much but yeah Queen d7 Queen f3 King f8 Knight f5 Rook d8, rook e1, bishop d6, rook a, d1, and a5. That should really work, but yeah, if this happens, probably queen here. Okay, let's find out how does the game conclude as we're just in the eighth minute. Yes, this is a short and sweet one, but not, not the shortest, but yeah. Knight f5, now it's white winning. And then h5. I don't know what's the point of h5. Trying for this. But h5. And then he sacrificed. Wow. He has plans. Boris Spassky sacrificed this rook. And then when it's queen takes d5. Queen takes e7. King g8. Queen takes f6. Boris Spassky resigned. Because after queen takes. Queen takes rook h6. Queen g5, rook g6, queen h5, rook e6, g3, rook a e8, and yes, it's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely winning here for Boris Baski. But I wonder. No, you cannot go here. Because it's. A, it's so, it's either to lose a queen. There's no choice now. Not now. I wonder why. Now I know why Boris Pasky emerged victorious after Sergey resigned. There is no way for this, for Black to save. I mean, he has he, he has to pick a tr pick one, either lose a queen or get checkmated. That's this is simple for that. Wait, that, that is, 
the issue. That was the one. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. Okay. It's fine. We're done on we're done on the twenty fifth year and the decade forties of Fidel tomorrow we're going to the to the fourth calendar decade of Fidel, which is the 1950s. Yes, that's right. So, without further ado, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. Become a Patreon member at patreon.com slash power. Don't forget to subscribe also to my vlog channel, Pal Vlogs. Follow me on Twitch, Paul Abradas, X, Paul Abradas, TikTok, Paul Abradas, Instagram, Paul Power YT, Threads, Paul Power YT. Like and follow on Facebook, Paul Power YT. And join the Discord community for some fun in the house. And get 20% off when you click the link on Chess Mood. I just, I should have my own script, but yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow to start up our fourth decade of Fide, the 1950s. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.